Hello everyone, welcome back to our video lessons of the way the Pratt School and I would like to welcome particularly grade 8 on our video 2 and the topic is the skills that we have discussed before and a part of unit 7 introduction and this inclusive of 29 to 31st March 2020 and this is teacher Marisa again. So, on our weekly plan, so these are the pages that we're going to do today. I have given you some homeworks on page 60 on the workbook, which I have to give you the answers for you to check if you got the correct ones. And then, student book page 116 and the introduction on 118 to 119 for unit 7. So, the answer key for workbook page 60 is here. So, reduce air pollution. It's all about environmental issues here, and we have discussed a lot about these issues, so these are the answers. Now, next we have the, this activity for activity four, but in activity five, please, I would like you to do the right thing, okay, page 26 of worksheet book. So in activity five, you are given a writing. A student magazine is looking for ways to reduce litter in schools. Write an article describing the causes, effects of the problem, and offering solutions. It's 50 to 100 words in your worksheet book. And then there's activity here down. These are the answers. And then the format to be completed in the writing, okay, or in the writing article. In writing the article, I mean, okay, now this one here is also the format to be completed okay, here on this activity six. So, page 62, it's noise pollution. So, again, it is about environmental science. Okay, now these are the answers for the workbook page that I have given you, but for activity one, I have answered it across cultures as well. I answered here number one, number two, number one, number two, and number three here. And then for the activity two, write in the notebook about your national animal if you happen to have. Our national animal is uh, a carabao or like a tamarau, they call it an animal that works in the farm. So, what is yours? So this is page 62. And then, now let's go back to the student's book. We have the use of English. Now, in activity three, read the text and complete the gaps. Now, this one is uh, number one, number two, and number three. So these are the answers. Number one, at, the event starts at, noon outside so this is an email of Paul to Andrew clean up day and in the activity four for each situation choose the appropriate response circle A B or C so this is the answer or these are the answers A C B so A C B and then in number five read the dialogues below complete them with the appropriate response how are you going to answer this questions okay and then in number six answers are endangered make and protect okay so next we have okay on page 116 the activity one here is to be answered okay uh, it's very easy it's just a short reading on 106 116 Okay, about recycling and then here on page 117 these are answer keys for activity 3 read the text below and complete the gaps 1 to 5 so from these words inside the box you're going to complete them for these numbers please take time to write them and try to read as well the paragraph even the answers are provided for you this is activity 4 answered as well and then in the writing here on number five, you're going to write an email to your English speaking friend about how to help save rainforest. The same 
required number of words from 50 to 100 words okay in your email and then what will you write there explain why rainforests are important describe what you are doing to help save them and suggest ways he or she should be involved too okay how now the progress check on your exit is here just read them and x or tick which skills have you mastered and you haven't? So, are you good, very good, or excellent? Then, next we have Unit 7 now. The Nomads of Mongolia. The Nomads of Mongolia, Nomads means these are the people in groups. They are families who move from place to place. Okay, I would like you to read it. It's very, a very interesting story about a kind of lifestyle in the old days of okay, different people. So these are the words that you have to check in your dictionary. These words are almost all of them are familiar and I would like you to check the dictionary to get the meanings of the words that are not familiar to you. And then we have here the reading and vocabulary for page 118 to 119. So, activity 2 is reading, and this is activity 1 on page 118, activity 3, and then please answer in the notebook for activity 4, because you have to answer some questions here regarding the text. How do you understand it? And then activity 5, use the dictionary for matching synonyms of words, okay, and then A5, answer, and then... This one is activity 7, and this one is activity 9. Now, here, please do the writing activity in the notebook. In activity 9, you are asked to do a simple writing do it in the notebook, please. So, that's the end of our topic. Please cover all those pages that are suggested to you. And if I were you, I would stay home and be safe. Bye for now, and... Till the next video. Take care.